Hello friends. In this video, we will see what is the values in Android Studio. Okay, in in Android Studio, there is a in the resource section there is a one folder called values. Okay, we will see what is the values contains. We will take a new project. Remove this text. Okay, I will change the layout as a linear layout. Okay, I will explain this some. Okay, now we'll change the orientation as a vertical. Okay, I will add one button into that. I'll change the gravity center. Oh, one second. This gravity is for the text inside the button. Okay, now I will ch I will change the layout of gravity layout. Layout gravity center. Okay, button moves to the center now. I will take some more buttons to for the design. Just copy and paste. Okay, these are the buttons. Okay, now we'll open that resource folder. The okay, where it is? Okay, okay. See here the values. The value section contains three color, three XML files: color XML, string XML, and the style XML. What is this so string XML? We'll run and see. The first string XML contains the App name my application. What is that? Run and see first. Okay. Now you are seeing the my application. That is the application name. Your application name. That should be stored in the string XML file. That means whenever you are giving any string into your application, that should be stored in the string XML file. Okay. Now into now I will add uh, some string to the my application. That's a button name. Now I will add string. Just a string. For the first button, I will name button. I will give the value to the button as a happy. In the button, I will add the string as a happy. In the second button. I will name as a button two. Okay, I will give the value as a new into that. This for the button three name. I will button three name. Okay, the which all the strings in your application that should be first initialized here. Then after that we'll we'll give to the design. Okay. Okay. Now I will initialize the fourth button string. Okay. Button fifth. Bye. Okay, this is how it looks. String. Now we'll see what is that color XML. I will open the color XML. Okay, now color XML contains the okay three colors. Okay, what are three colors here? Now we'll run and see. Okay, this first is a blue color. 
and the uppermost you are seeing that is also blue okay i will change that color and see we'll come to the which are color Okay, now I change that to color. Now we'll run and see. Okay, see guys, the color has been changed. That means the colors which you are which you are using into your application that should be first initialized here only. Okay. Now I will add some colors to my button design. Color. Let me just try with button. Okay, add some colors randomly. Okay, from again I give right. Okay, I will change it. For the button two, I want to give this color. But you can give the one color and uh, add that all that color to the all buttons. Otherwise, uh, otherwise you can give the different colors to the each button. No button, button two, button three. Okay. Now I will give that. Now I will add that color to color and the string to the button. Okay. Text. Here it will come. String but string button. Happy. Oh no! I am initializing to the button too. Okay, that's fine. Wait, I will increase the size of the button. It will come to no. And I will give the color text color. See that is changed here also. First, I will increase the text size. You will come to know. Yeah, that it, see guys how it changed. That is see. This is how it changed. Text has changed. Thirty DPR is finished. Okay, see guys how it looks. Whenever you are writing any string in your application, first initialize into the string XML. That will be better. That is a good design. When you become the professional developer, Android developer, you will come to know that one. 